Uh, he's had four attempts on goal at this competition, Liam, and he scored all four of them. And yeah. of course, the, the Harry Kane thing yesterday, up to five goals now. Lukaku's doing well. He, uh, Ronaldo would have set winning the Golden Boot as a target. Never absolutely, mind the World Cup. absolutely. That's, he, yeah. he, 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 he has these targets in his mind, you know. Yeah, although he's done a really good job for his team, he is very much an individual thinker, and he'll be saying to himself, "Now I need to know. I need to score a couple to put Harry back in his box." You know, <laughs> uh, and uh, he's had a great rivalry with Messi down through the years for the amount of goals they scored, or who's going to be Player of the Year, who's going to be the Ballon d'Or, yeah. and things like that. But you know, he he did well there. He get that penalty against Spain, and he took it away. Then he's got, you know, took it away brilliantly. He, he thrives on pressure, doesn't he? Absolutely thrives on pressure. Yeah, he's, uh, it's hard to put in words. If you look at his uh, goal scoring record, I think he, he he averages over 50 goals a season. And uh, everybody, well, at any level when you play, uh, even to get into double figures, I think it's a big achievement. And this guy just, uh, he seems to get better and better with every year. And uh, when the chips are down, I don't think there's anybody player here. This is a ball where you know, even the, the bravest cent, uh, centre-backs and maybe centre-forwards may not have gone in because the guy's come in, he's got his foot high, he could get uh, clattered and we know that uh, he's very, um, yeah, I think his looks are very important to him. Um, but he didn't shy away from that, uh, from the diving header goes down there and scores. And uh, yeah, he's, if you've got a player like him in the team, you know, look at him, he's playing to the other guys, it just gives you so much confidence because, you know, even if you go a goal behind, you're always in the game. This guy can produce out of nothing. And what he's done over the last 12, 15 years is, is, uh, is, is just sublime. You know and what he's saying there, Dara? Just get me the give ball. Give me the ball. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, it wor it's worked pretty <laughs> well up to now. Just get me the ball. <laughs> <laughs> it has worked pretty well up to now. And actually, you know, the, the other factor with Carlos Queiroz, the manager of Iran who managed Portugal um, at the World Cup in 2010. Like, Queiroz was a very important mm. and is a very important part of, of Ronaldo's football development. Mm, very much so. Manchester United, he was a big part. He was a yeah. coach there on two occasions. Um, got a very, very good relationship with Ronaldo, so we all obviously know him inside out. I'm just not quite sure that the Serranian side are going to be good enough to, yeah. to stop Portugal full stop, but certainly Ronaldo. But Didi, I suppose, look, they, they want to, Iran want to make this as frustrating as possible for Portugal and hang in there as the lads were saying just hang in for as long as they can without needing to kind of go for broke so how how will Portugal deal with that I know Renato was one way obviously mm. but you know that they, they, they want to they want to wind Portugal up around it yeah and they they don't want to they will do uh, because that's what they do um, they did it against Spain yeah. they found it incredibly hard to break him down it'll be the same today and and Kiros will tell them if we keep it at nil nil 75 50, uh, 75 80 minutes you know maybe we can uh, commit a couple of players for maybe bring a, a center back on and stick him up top and play long balls and maybe we can get a set piece and, and nick the goal to get us through to the next round they played 10 games in their in the qualifying group they conceded two goals and they had a pre-qualifying round where they conceded three goals in eight games so in 18 games, they conceded five goals. And now you can say the opposition they played against are not the best. But still, it doesn't matter who you play. You've still got to be disciplined. You've got to be dogged. You've got to be aggressive to have that uh, defensive record. And, and I think it'll be a, a mighty tough game for Portugal because what's, as I said before, what's required is patience. Because sometimes when you do get fouls and, uh, and, and they try to slow the game down, every opportunity they get, they will try to rough the Portuguese and especially Ronaldo up. Mm -hmm. And it can frustrate you. And, and Portugal just have to bear in mind, we started nil nil, and that gets us through to the next yeah. round. Even though we don't win the group, probably, um, but nil nil is not a bad result. And uh, you just have to be patient. And at some stage, when Iran has to come out, uh, you just have to uh, you have to hit them on the counter attack if you can't break him down in the first half, which um, yeah hasn't happened too often because I think in the first half the Iran games uh, produced very few yeah. goals in recent uh, months.